the storm is you know two sides that that um have played well have played well against each other over the last few years and and both two top sides but the knights versus the eels is uh is the game of the round maybe yeah Okay, we didn't get anything in about anything else uh, match reviews wise this week, so we will move on to our. I mean, it's been the contentious topic of the whole show, but we'll move on to the promotion and relegation quiz. <laughs> Right, oh, it's quiz time, and um, I've I've looked back through the sort of Super League era records for promotion and relegation. I just sort of thought it gets gets a bit too complicated when you go before that because there were so many different league structures and different amounts of people going up and down. Basically, I didn't have time. <laughs> it's been cleaner in the Super League era, and it's still been messy. <laughs> yeah. As so we're gonna go on to find out. So, and actually. You know, this might be a good topic for David to get his head around. Uh, some things that could have gone different ways if certain teams did or didn't get promoted in certain years and that sort of stuff. So, uh, if if that's you know, he's already raised that with the Wigan one from the from the early '80s. So he's got a few of us to go at here potentially, um, and mergers too it, it mixed abun- amongst it. So the first question of the SLP quiz this week is. Can you name the first club to be relegated from Super League? So basically, who got relegated in 96? Oldham. No, it was Workington Town. Workington. That was my other thought. I knew it was one of the two. Oldham went the next year, so you were close. Who won the first division in 1996 to win promotion into the Super League? That was the year before we went up. Who went up the year before we went up? I think Cole maybe finished second or third or something that year. Was it? <clears throat> Salford. It was Salford. We're on the board. Okay, the next question, question three, um, you can get five points for if you name all of the teams. So I'll basically accept a point per name. Five teams have been relegated from Super League more than once. Can you name them all? Rovers. Um, are you going to name? I'm, I'm Wakefield. London. They've only gone down once, haven't they? Um, witness and Lee so London, Witness and Lee are three of the clubs have Rivers not gone down twice no and Wakefield have never gone down after they came in Castleford and Salford are the other clubs who've been relegated more than once from the Super yeah League. I've got the Sorry, was that Castleford and Salford, you said? That's right, yeah. Yeah, they they were two other thoughts I had. Um, who has been promoted into Super League the most times since 1996 and how many times? So you get two here, one for the team, one for the amount of times. I'm going to say... London three times. It's Salford three times. Ah. Uh, 
96, obviously we mentioned before, 2003 and 2008. This is a bit of a tongue twister, but I think we'll get there. Can you name the last club to be relegated from Super League for the first time? <laughs> so the last time a club got relegated and it was their first time being relegated. Yeah. <laughs> So, it was their first time being relegated. When was that? 2017? Right, just repeat the question again so I can definitely check. Can you name the last club to be relegated from Super League for the first time? So it's the first time they were relegated and it's the most recent. That's it. Was that Rovers then? It was. It was Hawkinson Rovers in 2016. The dramatic, exciting million pound game that actually, you know, that might be another good one. What would have happened yeah. if they held Josh Griffin down? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, or if any of those passes had been decreed forward. <laughs> um, right. This one, okay, mm. there's been two, there's two former Super League sides, so they're no longer in Super League, but they were in the past. Yeah. That have never won promotion to Super League by winning the, or well, by coming from the championship or the first division and they've also never been they've also never finished bottom of the super league so there's two sides who played in super league but don't play in super league anymore but they never won the the second tier and they never finished bottom of the top tier can you name them so they've never been relegated out of Super League and they've never been promoted into by finishing top. Yeah. 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 They never won the second tier and they never finished bottom of Super League. But they were brought into the competition and they've left the competition. (laughs) Paris Saint-Germain. Yeah, you got one. Harlequins? No, it's Gateshead. Because uh, Harlequins were just London under a different branding. It's like saying... I know, Hull but... Hull and Hull Sharks were two different clubs. Although technically they were. I know. Um, yeah, Gateshead. Yeah, fair point. Because, uh, yeah, Paris Saint-Germain finished 11th both in both their two Super League seasons um, and then obviously Gateshead were given a place in the expanded Super League for 1999 but then circumstances led to them not being in the competition in 2000 and obviously now they've reformed and Newcastle Thunder are one of the teams that do want the League One season to resume because they're hoping for promotion Yeah. so question 7 how many times Has a club been relegated from Super League to the second tier when they didn't finish bottom of the table? This is in the entire Super League era, you know, from 96 through to 2019 and the various different ways of going into and out of the competition that existed but how many times has a club been relegated from Super League to the second tier when they didn't finish bottom of the table I am going to pluck a number oh hang on um 
else was it? Was that? Who went down that year then? And did they finish bottom? Three. It's five. It's five. We'll go through them okay. in a second because um, it kind of overlaps with the last question. So we'll go through them in a second. Uh, the last question is, how many times has the club finishing bottom of Super League not lost their Super League status the following season? Now, just as a sort of hint, there was the licensing era where things were different. Um So how many teams? Uh, how many times have right, the club yeah. who finished bottom of Super League not lost their Super League status for the following season? Um, twelve. I mean, I want to get the working out on that because you are bang on. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. That's brilliant. The working out was, mm, let's think of a number. <laughs> okay, so the five teams that didn't that that didn't finish bottom but went down in two thousand and five, Witness went down. That was when two se- two teams were relegated to make way for right um, Catalans coming into the competition. In two thousand, yeah, so, about that. so they finished second bottom. In two thousand and six, Castleford went down because Catalans were exempt from relegation that year, which plays into the yeah. next question. <laughs> in two thousand and fourteen, was the only other time that two sides were relegated from Super League in the same season. So that was when Bradford were second bottom but went down when we reverted back to twelve teams, and then. In the Super 8s era, Hull, Kingston, Rovers and Lee both didn't finish bottom in the season, in the regular season, in the years that they ended up being relegated through the qualifiers. Yeah. Um, I think Wakefield and... No, Huddersfield and Widnes, respectively, finished bottom in those campaigns. And then in the 12 times... I mean, you got this, so you must know them all. Come on. <laughs> I'm first. There was. I was figuring... Yeah, there was, no, carry on. there was three times that Huddersfield finished bottom but didn't go down, mostly yep. because the teams going up didn't have as good a stadium as them, I think. But that was 98, yeah. 99 and 2000. I think 2000, though, it was Hudd- the Huddersfield experiment. But either way, it, it was Huddersfield. Yeah. They they played in Huddersfield's colours in Huddersfield's ground. <laughs> in 2006, the Catalan Dragons, obviously... In 2008, Castleford yep. didn't go down because of the restructure into licensing, so we went up to 14 teams. Then, obviously, during that licensing period, you were a, there were a few, which is, like you were saying, part of your working out. So, Crusades in 2009 didn't go down. T- Catalans in 2010 didn't. Witness in 2012 didn't. Salford in 2013 didn't. And then, during the... Super 8 period, we had Wakefield in 2015, Huddersfield in 2016, and Witness in 2017, who all finished bottom of the Super League table, but didn't go down. There we go. Yeah. Um, I mean, of, of those teams, that when you look through that list, you sort of think... I forget that Huddersfield would finish bottom as recently as 2016. Um, I know they've had some not great seasons, but that that's crazy. So four times Huddersfield have managed by hook or crook to finish bottom and not go down. Yeah. <laughs> uh, um, so they're the luckiest team, I think. If, yeah. If, I'm not sure who the unluckiest might be, but they're definitely the luck. Well, Castleford are probably the the unluckiest. Although Castleford also did, I think, get the luck in 2008, and they managed to get promoted when it changed to the uh, grand final system, when they didn't finish top of the league in in the championship, and then got promoted one of those times as well. So you know, they, they had some some yeah. swings and roundabouts in it. <laughs> yeah. But uh, in total, you scored nine points out of the quiz. 
out of a possible one, two, seven. 